Hey everyone, how is it going? It's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable team create and add people to your Roblox games in Roblox Studio, help you edit and play test your games. Now, team create has been changed on Roblox Studio. My original video on how to do this is now outdated as they have changed this feature. So let's go ahead and you can either just go on a template on Roblox Studio or you can do one of your games they already have. So once you get into Roblox Studio and have everything loaded, all you got to do is go to the top right area in your game and it's going to be a blue button that says collaborate, which I think this is way better than what it originally had. It had like a small thing where you had to find the team create, but right here it's a big blue button, collaborate. Go ahead and click on that, and then you want to make sure, because I'm on a template, I got to actually make this into a real game. So I actually have to publish this game before I can add people, of course, because this is a template, it's a base plate. I'm going to name it team game, and then I'm just going to go ahead and click save, and then it enables team create right there. So once you have your Roblox game created or you already had one, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the collaborate button again. Since this is an actual game now, as you can see, I'm already a part of it. I'm the owner of the game and you can add users or groups as a whole to uh, work on your game review. So I'm going to add one of my friends, my nephew, Caden. Go ahead and add him. He's already one of my friends and I believe you can only add friends. You can't add random players unless you're friends with them already. So you have two different options. You have them edit your game or play test your game. So we're gonna go ahead and just save that. And now he can go ahead and go on Roblox Studio and help me edit this game if he wanted to. And then we can go ahead and add my group, Super Root Fans. Make sure you guys go ahead and join that link in the description. Uh, $10 Roblox gift card every week. But anyways, um, you can see here that the whole group, you can see every single wall in the group and you can give them, uh, you know, you can decide what they can do and stuff. Either they can play or have no access depending on what role they are. So. Uh, yeah it's really cool it's pretty neat that it shows roles like this so the owner can play which is me and then i'm probably going to let admins play as well since uh they can help a little bit so it's really cool you can add groups and friends if you want to i don't know if there's a limit or not but this definitely does help people out here so um anyways once you're done like playing around with the groups and everything you can go ahead and just press the blue button at the bottom the save button and uh, that's all you got to do and you can always change things later and come back to it there's going to be one more thing you're going to have to do so if you want your friends and people that are helping you work on the game be able to change scripts and work on scripts in your roblox game you want to go ahead and head over to game settings which is in the home area in the top area okay and once you do that you want to go ahead and go all the way down to other on the side and I originally I was just looking around to make sure I got everything that I needed to go through. I found out that you're going to want to make sure you have this option enabled. So your friends, your people that help you work on the game can go ahead and edit scripts and do collaborating editing. I, I can't say it correctly, but go ahead and enable that at the top of the other settings here. So enable collaborative editing for scripts so people can work together on scripts and stuff. So just go ahead and enable it. I, I don't know why that's like disabled i don't know why that has to be its own thing but uh team create server needs to restart for this change to take effect the server will automatically restart once all editors have left the session so if you do this when you have people on make sure you get everyone off and that way you can just reset the thing and then that way that thing works so it's basically how you enable team create and get friends and groups into your games in roblox studio hope this helped you out guys make sure you go ahead and save your game just to make sure it saves all the changes and make sure you have all the team created and everyone added to your game and it stays like that so anyways make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button to show some support and if you have any questions comment them below and i'll try to help you guys out and until next time goodbye